Okay, today we are going to do uh, a hocktail, hocktail uh, wisp room. A little bit different than a turkey. Um, so we're going to start out by talking about our knots and um, our spindle. Here's our spindle. Uh, and I'll drop this down again. Remember that it always comes off the top as it's coming towards you. Not the bottom, the top. And as you, uh, your feet go right here. And as you need more tension, you're going to let it loose and let it flop a little bit to wherever you're at. When you're pulling, you want to make sure that you're pulling your broom in your gut. You don't pull here. No power here. Lots of power here. Okay. So um, the first thing we do when we're starting off is make sure we have a jerk string because when you get done and you're ready to uh, do your jerk string or use it at the end of the um, broom, if you don't have it, you're in a conundrum. Okay, so what is this, like 18 inches? I don't want them real long. And I'm just going to do an overhand knot. And it's not a bad idea to have a couple of them in case you lose them. And that's a little short. So I'm going to do just a little bit bigger one. I don't want it real long and I don't want it real short. That looks a little bit better. So just do an overhand knot. So you got a couple of them waiting there on you. So we're going to do this slow. Here's my two ends. An overhand knot. I'm going to bring that around my finger. And then in the hoop, the two short ends go. Then I'm going to tighten it up. I'm going to bring it around my finger. And I'm going to open that up and bring those two shorties in. And then I'm going to tighten it. Boom. There it is. Okay. So when I'm getting ready here, I want to do an overhand knot first at the tail end of it. An overhand knot over that finger. See, there's an X. And then I'm just going to tuck the shorty tail in the hoop and tighten it up. And the reason that you do that is so it won't slip. Okay, so then we do the cool. We want it to slide on the long piece uh, knot. How's that? So I'm going to bring this around my hand like three fingers. And there's the X, right? So then I'm going to put my thumb on the, where they come across each other on the X, turn that hoop upside down, take my fingers, go inside the hoop, and grab that guy. Okay? And then I'll slide on the long piece. Let's do it again. So, I've got three fingers here. I'm going to loop that around. It gives me an X. I'm going to hold that X, turn that loop upside down, take my fingers, go down through the hoop, Grab it. Okay, I don't want that tail real long because it's just going to get in the way. So I'm going to see how that slides on the long piece. That's what you want it to do. Slide on the long piece. Okay, so we are going to make a hawk tail. But we've made turkey wings. This time it's the hawk tail whisper. Okay. So you need about like a half pound. Now this is my very cool new uh, red broom corn. It makes some really awesome Christmas brooms. And I'm going to use red on this just because it's what I have in the spindle. And then we're going to talk about doing the plate on it uh, when we get done just so you can see it. So I'm going to use some green uh, basketry material. Actually, it's 3 16 dyed. I think that'll go good together. So that's what I'm thinking. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide this into layers. And like I said, the best thing that I know how to do is just start dividing. Okay, so it's not rocket science. Just kind of grab it there and say, oh, that's about half. Okay, and then we're going to take this half and divide that in half and 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 half and divide this into half and then I'm going to start stacking them. So that gives us eight 
want her to have nine on this. Okay. So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna take one little bunch out of here. That's gonna be my starter, and then I'm gonna break this in half. You see that this is real uh, technical. I do that in half. Do these in half, and I do believe we are ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to take my middle part, and when I'm doing these, it's nice to have as much length here as you can get. These are 14 inches. And the reason for that is because you can uh, come back and do a plate over the top of it, and we'll get there. But um, So when you start this out, you want to start down here as close to the brushy part as you can get. Okay. So on um, this particular one, we're going to do it the traditional way, and then I'll show you how to do it with a twist with some variegated, uh, so you get an idea of what happens with that. But today we'll go ahead and do it the traditional way, and then we'll do another one with a twist. So, we want to take our cool little knot here that we've got, make sure this is lined up, and I want to stick that through there, and come down, like I said, pretty close to that um, brushy part. So I'm going to change this up so that you can see my feet quick and see what I'm doing and uh, then I'll, I'll come back up so you can see how I'm tightening this up. Just so that you can see how my feet are set up and see I got the cool little slippies on. Um, so I've got this on and I want to tighten it up okay and then I'm going to wrap three times on this and I want to cover that knot. Uh, you can't see the knot. Uh, we'll do this both ways. You can see what I'm doing with my feet and the knot. So I'm going to cover this up and then I'm going to add, so I need a little bit more tension or a little little bit more slack, not tension. So I'm going to let it go and then hold my feet up again. Now I would say probably your slippers are not the best thing to wear with this. Some hard sole shoes are, but that's what I got on, so that's what we're going with. So um, and then I'm going to back this up so you can see what my hand or my hands are doing. But I wanted to show you what happens with my feet. So if I need some more slack, let go and stick my feet back on. Push with your legs. Push with your legs. Okay. And I've got my three wraps on this. Remember, I started down low. Okay. Got my feet on my spindle. We're good to go. So you remember when we did, and your knot kind of shows you your beginning point. Okay. And we're going to use that as a, a clue to add once we've got three rows, sorry, three rows, and then I'm back to my knot, okay? So when you're doing the turkey wing, you're always adding to the front, right? And then you come back here, measure these guys up, and then we're going to go again. But when you're doing a hawk tail, you're going to add on both sides. So you're going to come around here before you start doing all your big wraps. And you're going to put a layer on the other side. Okay, and I'm going to level that up. So then I got it on both sides. And then I'm going to do a wrap for three. Actually, I'm going to do an advance before I do that. Give it a little bit of an advance. And make sure that they don't go on each side. Advance. There we go. Okay. So, small advance. And then we're going to wrap it. And because you're wrapping on both sides, you may want to take your broom horn and split it up once again. Can't hurt. It gives you more layers. So instead of the eight, I don't want her to do sixteen. So I am going to come down here, make sure that I've, and then I'm going to take an advance, come over the other side, make sure that stays on the side because we are making a. Hawk tail, right? And I'm going to come over on this side. And so I'm still in the front, but you add both sides and then you wrap. Okay. Tighten that up. 
So when I'm doing my advances, I want my advances on one side and my wraps on the other. Okay, so you don't want to advance on this side and advance on the other side. So that's three. It gives me four. So I think I'll do an advance here. So nope, I think I'll do one more. So I've got three here, and then I'm going to do an advance. I'm going to advance on one side. Hold that, turn it over to the other side. And put in, oh yeah. So, I've got my advance. I'm going to come over to the other side. And I'm going to put this in, making sure that I keep this as level as possible. Here's that advance on that side. And we're going to wrap for about three. Let a little bit of that tension loose. So it always looks like when you're wrapping three that you've got four on the back side. And that's okay. Because you're going to do the advance, which is actually four. So I'm going to do it on this side again. Add one side. Add the other. Okay. And then I'm going to wrap again. See how it's starting to flare out like a hawk tail. So it's a, when you're doing this, it's a real wrap and pull type of thing. So I got four wraps here, which means I'm going to put a couple more on the other sides. And these weave up pretty quick. So I'm going to do an advance on this side. There's my advance side. Try to keep that level. Come out a little bit with your advance. Hold it with your thumb. And put that other side on. Level that up. Keep it on the side. Okay. Bring that down a little bit. And we're going to wrap for four again. This probably would have been more, you know, more outstanding if I would have changed my string to green so you got some contrast. But for today, this will work. Okay. So, once again, I'm going to put it on short just a little bit. So, I'm going to turn on this side, level that up, do my advance, turn it over. On this other side, and I'm going to do my wraps. About four. Okay, so you can see how that flares out a lovely little cocktail broom. Now, it really doesn't matter. If you want your hocktail broom to show on this side, that's great. If you'd rather, you'd see the advances on that side, that's cool too. It's really a personal choice. How you set it up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just advance up, up to here on this one. And then I'm going to show you how to plate it and bring it back down. And you can see the dies coming off on my hands. Okay. So that's the end of my adding. So I'm just going to, one thing you want to make sure of too, that when you're tying on the broom corn and you're stretching it in, you should be like close to your gut when you're pulling. You don't want to be, um, you don't want to be down here. That gets old quick. You don't want to be up here. Remember your power is in your gut. 
if you were driving a team of horses, you would not be driving up here. You'd always have the reins into your gut because that's where your power is. So you can always check all them old westerns if you see them going, oh, and the reins are way up there. They're not driving them. This is from an old mule scanner. Okay. Do one more. And then another advance. And then we'll do the advance. One more up. I think we'll do this a couple more times. Make sure that's good and tight. Make sure all my advances are on one side, my wraps are on the other. Okay. Now this time, I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to call that good. Well, maybe two. Maybe two. And what I want to do is um, I'm going to put my jerk string in so I can finish that off. Okay, so this is going to be the last one that I'm going to do. So I am right-handed, which means the knot needs to be on the right-hand side here. So that when I pull it, it pulls a string through and it doesn't hang up on the knot. So whichever way you are handed. So I'm going to do my advance. And I want the knot on... Um, this side, I think. I'm going to call this the back side. Actually, it doesn't really matter at this point, but it's going to get covered up. So I'm going to put my jerk string in. Here's my advance. Okay, now I want this in here nice and smooth okay and then wrap around for about four or five times so i'm going to take my exacto and i'm going to keep my tension on it. I'm going to take the cut end and I'm going to put it through that hole. Still holding that tension. I'm going to come back over here, grab my jerk string. Mm -hmm. And make sure there's not a knot in it. Pull it through. Okay, so I want to make sure this is good and tight. It doesn't matter what you wrap it around. I just have an exacto here, so I pull it through that. Pull it nice and tight. Okay. And I am going to make this the hanger. But first, I'm going to trim this off. So I'll trim that off, and then we'll come back, and I'll talk about covering that down. So how cool is that? 
Nice hawk tail, whisk broom. And let me clean this up and then we'll talk about coming back down. Hey, it's Jill. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and like our videos and subscribe. That way you're always updated on anything basket related that we have on our Jill Shote Basketry channel. You won't miss a thing. Please like us and subscribe. See you next time.